In this video, we're going to take a look at some shortcut tricks for finding your limits at infinity. These tricks work uh, for rational functions. As long as you are taking the limit as x approaches either infinity or negative infinity, and you're dealing with a rational function, then these shortcut tricks are going to be very helpful. All right, so in this first case, you've got the limit as x approaches infinity, and you've got a rational function. You're going to take a look at that degree in the numerator and the degree in the denominator. When the degree in the numerator, which is 7, is bigger than the degree in the denominator, which is 5, then I know, since x is approaching infinity, my limit is going to be positive infinity. All right. Um, if x was approaching negative infinity in this case, then my limit would be negative infinity. If you work this out algebraically, what's probably going to happen is that you are going to draw the conclusion that the limit does not exist because you probably are going to have a division by 0. And that's okay. If you would then take a look at the graph of this function, then you're going to be able to see that um, it's approaching infinity. So it uh, does not exist as well as infinity works because depending on your textbook, some textbooks like that does not exist because they don't necessarily consider infinity um, a number. Okay, so either one of those would be an acceptable answer there. In the second case here, again, I've got the limit as x approaches infinity, and I have a rational function. You're going to take a look at those degrees. In the numerator, it's 6. In the denominator, it is 8. Whenever the denominator's degree is higher, then I know that my limit is going to approach 0. And in this third case, I've got the limit as x approaches infinity. Again, another rational expression. Taking a look at those degrees, I have a degree of 4 in the numerator. I have a degree of 4 in the denominator. So whenever that happens, you can take a look at those leading coefficients just very quickly there and know that your limit is approaching 2 thirds. All right, so three very quick and easy to memorize um, little shortcut tricks for doing those limits at infinity for rational functions. And if you um, remember your rules for horizontal asymptotes, they are very, very close. They're very, very close to those shortcut rules for horizontal asymptotes. So um, definitely thanks for watching, and don't forget to use these tricks because they're going to be very helpful. Thanks.